What's up everybody? We've got another Tesla software update landing today. This is Tesla self-driving 14.2.2. Now, if you're not familiar with some of the AI features that have been launching on Teslas lately, I think you're seriously missing out. No matter who you are, if you drive a lot, you probably want one of these. Even if you think you don't like EVs or Elon Musk or Tesla, once you give this a test drive and you can go take a test drive for free, I think you're going to be sold on it. It really is that much of a life changer having AI integrated into your car like this. So let me show you how this works. Basically, you can just talk to your car, tell it what you want, and it'll just drive you there anywhere. It's like Kit in Knight Rider, but it's real and you can have it and keep it in your driveway or your garage. So you can talk to the car by holding down the microphone button on the steering wheel. As a matter of fact, that's kind of the only thing the steering wheel is really good for anymore. Um, or you can push the button on the touchscreen. So let me start talking to the car. Hey, I'm looking for some place to eat around here that is in a nice area where I can walk around after I eat and walk through a nice neighborhood. You're right near Culver City. Check out Margo on Washington Boulevard, 0.2 miles away. Great spot in a chill, walkable area with nice streets to stroll after. What kind or of restaurant is that? Margo is a coastal Mediterranean spot on a rooftop with Spanish and Italian vibes. Think grilled prawns, pastas, and salads. I'm looking for something Pasta. simple, more like a quick takeout place or something like that. Loki's just three-tenths of a mile away on Washington Boulevard. Quick Mexican tacos and burritos for takeout. Super fresh in this walkable Culver City spot. Okay, yeah, Order that actually take- sounds pretty good. Let's navigate there. Got Loki and Mendocino Farms added to your route. Why Loki's Mendocino first- Farms? Cool. Navigation's on to Loki first. Three minutes away. Half a mile total to both spots. But why did you add Mendocino Farms? Can you remove that? Sorry, just Loki now. Took Mendocino Farms off the route. It's three minutes away on Washington Boulevard. Okay, great, thanks. So I don't even know where I want to go, where I want to eat. I just talk to the car. I tell it what I want. And it's now picked a place for me. When I'm ready to go, all I do is just hit the button that says start self-driving. And my car is just going to drive me there now. So it's got several different modes, depending on what kind of driving you want to do. Right now it's in the hurry mode, but there's also sloth, chill, standard, hurry, and Mad Max. And you can tell it what to do when it gets to the destination. You can say park on the street, park in a parking lot, park in a parking garage, or pull over curbside, kind of like an Uber would. So we're pulling out of the parking lot now, onto public roads, and it's able to navigate city streets like a professional chauffeur would. It's honestly smoother and more comfortable than what any human is capable of most of the time. So we're on Washington Boulevard here. We're going to make a right turn. The coast is clear. And there you go. It can handle city streets, highways, pretty much anything, and do it just like a human. And you can continue talking to the car while you're driving. You can say, Hey, uh, I'm driving past a place called Helm's Bakery. Can you tell me a little bit about it? Helm's Bakery was a famous spot in Culver City back in the day, known for its huge bread ovens and delivering fresh baked goods across Southern California from the 1920s to the 60s. The old bakery's... And you can ask it, you know, pretty much anything. You can ask it the news, you can ask it to check stuff on X. So it's really handy. And... You don't have to do any of the driving, so 
you can talk, get some work done, um, and you just have to sit there. The car will even look for a parking spot and park when it gets to the destination. So let's see, actually, um, you know, it's saying park in a parking lot. I don't know if there's a parking lot there, what the situation really looks like, so it's going to be interesting to see. All right, we're going to be making a left right here onto Landmark Street. And our destination should be right up ahead. I see there's a pedestrian crossing the street on the left. And now they've turned around. We got some cars turning. And as soon as it's clear, it's going to go ahead and make a left turn. I can't tell you how nice it is to have a car that can do the driving for you. Anytime I want to drive, I can still take the wheel and do it the way I want to do it. Just drive and have some fun. But I don't have to drive when I don't want to now. For traffic, for situations um, where you are eating or distracted by something else, it's really nice to just be able to tell the car uh, to keep the ship steady. All right, it's pulled into a parking garage here. And uh, now it's exiting. And now it's entering again. Interesting. This is kind of a funny situation. All right, let me tell it to park on the street instead of parking in the parking garage. Since it, I mean, is that even a parking garage? I don't really know if you'd call that a parking garage. I think that's the problem is there aren't really any spots there. But that looks like a parking spot. So that's kind of what it's programmed to do. It's kind of programmed to circle the parking lot until it finds a spot. Um, I think that was a little bit of strange behavior. Maybe a little bug fix is needed there. But you can see I then told it to park on the street and it parked and I could have also taken over. But I didn't touch the steering wheel or pedals the whole time. All you do is just talk to the car, touch the touch screen, and it does the entire drive for you. So that's Tesla self-driving 14.2.2 and the latest Tesla AI features. Do yourself a favor. If you spend any significant time in the car, go take a test drive because this technology will seriously improve your quality of life. Take care, everyone.